how to add privacy policy to footer in Google Sites. The first thing you want to do is open a new tab and you're going to type in privacy policy generator. From there, you can see numerous privacy policy generators that you can use. The one that I will be using for this example is this one right here, privacy policy generator .info. So you're going to select this option then you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, we're going to tap on website from the right hand menu option, then tap on continue and generate privacy policy. From here, you will need to paste in your Google Sites URL. So we'll go back into Google Sites. Then from there, you're going to ensure that your website has been published. So we can tap on publish right there. So I'm going to simply type in a website name that I would like to use. Then we'll tap on publish. Once it has been published, all you'll need to do is tap on copy link. Then you're going to copy your website link. After you have done that, you're going to go back and you're going to paste the link right here. After pasting the link there, you can add in your site name. After adding in your site name, you'll scroll down. What type of entity is it? Is it a business or are I'm an individual? You can tap right there. Then from there, you can enter the country or you can select the country and state as you can see right here. So you can select these options, then tap on next. After you have done that, what kind of personal information do you collect from users? And you can select whether it is email, first name, last name, phone number, or so on. You can select any one of these information. Then you are going to tap on next step. How can users contact you for any questions regarding your privacy policy? Will it be by email, by visiting a page on your website, by phone number, or by sending a post? You can select any one of these options. After you have done that, if you select by email, you'll enter in your company email address right there. If you select by visiting a page, from there you'll see the option to add the web page name. Uh, if you select by phone number, you'll see the option to add phone number as you can see right there. So for this example, I'm going to simply select by page and I'm going to simply paste in my website right there, then tap on next step. After you have done that, you're going to be redirected to this page and from here you can read more about it and you'll simply scroll down then you're going to tap right here no I don't want to and I'm going to simply tap on next step after you have done that you can either enter your email address or you can tap on generate to generate it for free so let us enter our email address once you have entered your email address and tap on generate you'll be redirected to this page and from here, you can see link to your privacy policy. All you'll need to do, you could tap here to copy the link. Or if it is a case that we like to embed it, as you can see right here, we can choose to embed the privacy policy. So all we'll do is simply tap on copy this clipboard board. Once it has been copied, you're going to go back into Google Sites. And what I want you to do next, you're going to tap on pages from the right hand menu option. Then you are going to tap on the plus that says new page and you are going to tap on full page embed. After selecting full page embed, from here you are going to type in privacy policy. So let's do that real quick. Then you are going to tap where you see done. After doing that, you are going to tap on add embed. Then select embed code and you are going to paste in the embed code right here. Then tap on next then tap on insert and you can see that our privacy policy has now been added so you can see the page right there has now been added so all you'll need to do next once you have added the page as you can see right here we can hide it from the we can hide it from the menu option if you want so you don't have to display it on the menu option if you don't want to do that i'll be showing you how to do that but the first thing we're going to be doing we're going to be adding the page link to the footer section now to do that all you'll need to do next is you're going to simply scroll down to the bottom of the page so let us save the changes 
So you could simply tap on publish right here to save the changes or you could simply tap on pages. So let's select pages. Then from there, we're going to select home. After selecting home, we're going to scroll down and from here you would select add footer. Then you're going to select edit the footer section. After you have done that, all you would need to do now from here, you could type in privacy policy. So let me do that real quick. Then you will select the entire text. So you're going to select privacy policy. Then you're going to tap on insert link. After selecting insert link, you're going to select privacy policy, then tap on apply. Now that you have added that link, all you'll need to do now, you can tap on publish. So if we were to tap on publish right now, then tap on publish once more. And I were to tap on view so you can see how it looks and then scroll down. You can see that the privacy policy has now been added to the footer section right there. And if you would like to remove it from the main menu option, you can do that. All you'll need to do after selecting pages in the top right hand corner in line with privacy policy, you're going to tap on the three dots. After you have tapped on the three dots, you're going to see the option hide from navigation. You would tap right there and you can see that it has now been removed as you can see right there. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.